Hi everybody, welcome to Christensen Wealth Management. I'm Michael Christensen. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this stock market update and industry sector review for the week ending Friday, March 30th, 2018. Before we jump into the charts of the Dow Jones, S&P 500 and NASDAQ and industries, I would like to begin with the quote of the week. This week's quote is from Benjamin Mays. And if you don't know who Benjamin Mays was, he was born 1894, died 1984. He was an American Baptist minister and civil rights leader who was credited with laying the intellectual foundations of the African American civil rights movement. Mays taught and mentored many influential activists, one of those being Martin Luther King Jr. Benjamin Mays once said, It isn't a calamity to die with dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity not to dream. Those are some wise words from Benjamin Mays. Well, we have had a week of continued volatility. Pretty much everything has moved lower with the exception of utilities and bonds. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart. Before I begin, I would like to say that all the charts you're about to see are six-month charts from September 29th, 2017 to March 29th, 2018. Beginning with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you can see that it is in a continued decline. We have the five-day moving average in red below the blue 20-day moving average, which indicates short-term weakness, and the blue 20-day moving average is below the 50-day purple. Uh, moving average there. So we have intermediate term weakness as well for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We had a small little up day on Thursday the 29th, which is the last day of the trading week since Good Friday is a stock market holiday. But <clears throat> you can see that for the most part, the Dow is in a continued decline and a, a day or so of a bounce doesn't make for a trend. Now, if we zoom out a little bit and we draw a line going back to the day of the election of Donald Trump, November 2016, this is the support line since the election. And you can see we have the first day here, which is November um, 3rd there. We have the second touch there, which is about September 7th, 2017. The big drop into the lows of February 8th was the third touch, and we broke that support line on March 22nd. And we came back up, touched it one more time on March 27th, and failed, and we had a little bit of a bounce. So, as of right now, according to this chart, it looks to me like the Dow Jones Industrial Average may be uh, living on borrowed time because the support has been broken um, on this chart and everything is looking weak. So the first week of April is going to tell us everything we really need to know about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As of right now, it looks to me like we are probably going to go lower for uh, the Dow. Let's move on and take a look at the S&P 500. Here's the chart of the S&P 500, and it's a little bit stronger than the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It isn't as low as the Dow was, but the five-day moving average in red is below the blue 20-day moving average, indicating short-term weakness, and the blue 20-day moving average is below the purple 50-day moving average, indicating intermediate-term weakness. And if I uh, zoom out, and go back to the election night, November 2016, and draw the same support line. Let's see what that looks like. It looks something like that. And you can see that we, um, we came down, broke the line, bounced back up a few times, broke it again on March 22nd. We came back up and touched it on the 23rd of March and uh, never was able to get back above that support line that goes back to election night. So S&P 500 also looks like it's on borrowed time. The short and intermediate term weakness all also uh, signal possible trouble. 
and uh, we'll just wait and see what the first week of April brings us. But right now it's looking, uh, looking like lower prices might be in the future. Here's the chart of the NASDAQ 100, and it also is holding uh, higher than the other two indexes just by a little bit. But it took a pretty serious uh, beating today, or not today, but this week. The technology stocks sold off pretty good uh, from the 26th up here uh, until down to the 28th. It, it sold off pretty good, but you can see that going back to March 12th, it has been a, about a 7 or 8% drop for the NASDAQ. But getting into the uh, weakness and strength, we have the 5-day moving average in red that is below the blue 20-day moving average which is short-term weakness, but we still have a few more days left of the blue 20-day average being above the purple 50-day moving average. So technically we do have intermediate-term strength, but how long that lasts, we will just have to see. If the NASDAQ and the technology stocks are down again the first week of April, then we will get a intermediate-term weakness confirmation. Moving on to the industry sectors, we come to the S&P 500 material stock index and as you can see the five-day moving average in red is below the 20-day moving average in blue which is a short-term weakness confirmation and we have the 20-day moving average in blue below the 50-day moving average in purple so we have a intermediate term weakness confirmation as well. Here's the S&P 500 Information Technology Index. Right now, the 5-day moving average in red is below the blue 20-day moving average, which is short-term weakness. And we have the 20-day moving average in blue is still above the 50-day moving average in purple. So we're still holding on to some intermediate-term strength, but those two lines are converging, so the strength is beginning to turn more toward weakness. And if the first week of April is a down week for the technology stocks, I suspect we will have a intermediate term weakness confirmation as well. Here is the S&P 500 Consumer Staples Stock Index, and we have the 5-day moving average in red is below the 20-day moving average in blue, so we have short-term weakness on this chart. And the 20-day moving average in blue is below the purple 50-day moving average, so we have a substantial amount of intermediate term weakness as well. I'm sure you can see based on that chart that it's, it's been uh, in a pretty solid downtrend. One thing I'll just point out is the next few days will tell us a lot about this chart because if you connect the highs, you will see that we are sitting right on the downtrend line here that we began on January 26th second point was March 13th and as of March 29th we are sitting right on that so the first week of April will either break above that or it will reject that line and start headed lower heading lower again here is the S&P 500 industrials stock index and we have the five-day moving average in red is below the blue 20-day moving average indicating short-term weakness and the 20-day moving average in blue is below the purple 50-day moving average which is intermediate term weakness confirmation as well. Here is the S&P 500 Utilities Stock Index, and this one's starting to look a lot better than it did a month ago. Right now we have the price in black here above the 5-day moving average and the 20 and the 50. So this index is strengthening. We have the 5-day moving average in red is below the 20-day moving average in blue. So we have a short-term strength confirmation, and as of March 29th, the 20-day moving average is right on top of the 50-day moving average. So I suspect the first week of April, we will continue to have an intermediate-term strength confirmation going forward for a while. Here we have the S&P 500 Consumer Discretionary Stock Index, and the 5-day moving average in red is below the blue 20-day moving average, which indicates short-term weakness, and the 20-day moving average in blue is below the 50-day moving average in purple, 
indicating intermediate term weakness as well. So please use caution on the consumer discretionary or cyclicals stocks. Here's the Dow Jones Financial Stock Index, and we have the 5-day moving average in red is below the blue 20-day average, indicating short-term weakness, and the 20-day moving average is below the purple 50-day moving average. So we have intermediate term weakness as well, so continue to use caution on the financial stocks. Here's the Dow Jones Oil and Gas Stock Index, also known as the Energy Stocks, and we have the 5-day moving average basically right on top of the 20-day moving average, and you can see by this tremendously long, almost two-month sideways consolidation here that there's just extreme indecision on oil and gas, so there's nothing going for this index right now. Just continue to watch and wait and see if it starts to head higher or lower. The 20-day moving average in blue is pretty far below the purple 50-day moving average, and that 50-day moving average is in pretty steep decline. So I would just use a lot of caution here on, on the oil and gas and energy stocks. Here we have the Dow Jones Healthcare Stock Index, and the 5-day moving average is substantially below the 20-day moving average, indicating lots of short-term weakness and the 20-day moving average is below the purple 50-day moving average, so we have intermediate term weakness as well. So continue to use caution on this healthcare stock index. It uh, tried to, well, it did break below the February 8th low this past week, so that opens the door to potentially lower prices. So we'll just have to wait and see where we go the first week or two of April. Here is the Dow Jones Transportation Stock Index, and this makes uh, is made up of airlines, railroads, trucking companies, and others. Right now we have the five-day moving average in red is below the 20-day moving average in blue, so we have short-term weakness, and the blue 20-day average is below the 50-day moving average, so we have intermediate term weakness as well. So just use uh, continue to use caution on the transportation stocks, and we'll see where we go in April. The final chart of the day is the Dow Jones Real Estate Stock Index, and we have the 5-day moving average is below the 20-day moving average. So we have some short-term weakness, but it looks like it's trying to improve. We'll see where we go over the next week or so. The 20-day moving average is still below the 50-day moving average in purple, so we still have intermediate-term weakness, but those 5- and 20-day moving averages are trying to move higher. And over the next week or two, we'll just have to wait and see if they cross above that 50-day moving average and switch from weakness to strength. But right now, it's a uh, uh, wait-and-see approach on this. Just continue to use caution until we get some confirmations on those. Thanks again for watching this stock market update. I hope you found the charts and information useful. I think the next week will be just as volatile as the last. I wish you a very happy Easter weekend, or if you're watching this on Sunday or Monday, I hope you enjoyed your Easter weekend. Before you go, please click the subscribe button on this YouTube channel and click the little bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever I post additional videos. And if you use Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, please look up Christensen Wealth Management, or you can go to the summary description of this YouTube video, and I have provided links to those pages there. If uh, all is the same as it has been, I will be back in seven days and look forward to uh, talking to you again next week. Bye-bye.